Welcome back in my shop. I'm Steven. So, I did make, you know, some uh, <coughs> some hole marking. So, the, in the first step, I use a rule to make roughly, you know, the distance between each holes. So, uh, it's a, a good tip to avoid painting all the parts with some die and then uh, it could be a big mess with just such big parts and then I use a caliper to make a first line in the middle of a thickness and then uh, I use the roll to make a cross for each of the holes and I just uh, make one measurement per hole and I use a square like that you know to transfer the first measurement to the second one so it saves some time and then after a while <coughs> when uh, uh, I had all the cross I use this automatic punching tool so you push on it like that and it make <coughs> the small dents like I hope you will see let me put some light so you can see the dent so it's pretty pretty accurate. You can feel the scribe line in both directions when you put the tip of the tool inside it. So now I, I will transfer to the to the bench, um, make a huge a huge uh, tapping on it and uh, put a big dent, and then all what is remaining uh, will be some uh, drilling operation. So I will uh, do it off camera. So I did finish the drilling operation. I also put some <coughs> reference on the part, so I stamp up and letter B, do the same thing here with the letter A. So when the sticker will get a uh, get over, it will uh, remain the stamping uh, operation. I kept information of the letter on the print. And as you can see, all the holes were done. So there, there is 10 holes per rib. So 20 holes were made. So now I will have to countersink them. Just uh, have to calculate the correct disk to, uh, to have the size crew properly fits inside the system. So, thanks for watching.